Greetings everyone, Frogman here, and in this video I'm going to be editing one of your photos. This was sent in by Justin, he said this was a reference for a painting, but uh, I think this is a lot of potential for editing and I can get a very cool effect um, using just Lightroom. A lot of people might use Photoshop to do what I'm about to do, um, but uh, I think Lightroom's a very complete photo editing tool and uh, for all your editing purposes, if you can't afford, you know, six, seven hundred dollars for Photoshop, you can pretty much do uh, everything you need to in Lightroom. Uh, first thing we're going to do is uh, use Crop Tool. I'm going to bring this in, maybe rule of thirds it a bit, um, and just give some asymmetry and uh, get him a little off center. Uh, next thing we want to do is white balance going to actually use his tooth white balance selector tool and uh, just to cool the image down a little bit uh, I think I might even go a little bit further with my cooling uh, because I again I'm going for a very cold gritty cinematic image here uh, hopefully I don't say cold gritty and cinematic uh, too many times and uh, so look at the before and after I think that looks pretty neat and uh, so we're gonna move on to increase the exposure um, and this is gonna help us keep detail in a lot of the ad other adjustments I'm gonna be doing later on um, we're going to reduce the highlights uh, again we're gonna be increasing the whites in a second here and uh, when we do that we don't want the highlights to blow out completely going to increase the shadows. Um, this will help us maintain a little more detail. Uh, I'm going to do it pretty significant shadows enhancement here. I want to bring out detail on the side of his face, a little bit in his hair here, maybe in his shirt. And uh, like I said, adjustments later on will kill some of our detail and that'll help us maintain a little more of it than uh, anything else. Keep in mind if you increase shadows this much, if you shot at a high ISO that's going to give you a lot of noise. Uh, Justin used 640 ISO so don't have to worry too much about noise in this but uh, just just keep that in mind. If you if you used a high ISO uh, you might need to use shadows sparingly. For the whites we're going to bring this up and I like increasing my whites uh, pretty decent amount just because I like to have a balanced histogram I like having stuff in the pure blacks and in the pure whites uh, and I find that gives you a lot of good contrast I don't actually like to use the contrast slider too much in color images because I find these give you much more natural uh, contrast and we're gonna bring down our blacks uh, just a bit and uh, not too much because we don't want to lose too much detail but uh, just to give it gives you a little saturation boost which you don't really need in this image but it also uh, gives you that nice uh, crisp blacks and it's just a better way to get contrast in my opinion we're going to increase clarity quite a bit because again like I said gritty cinematic Clarity is good for that. Brings out texture in the wall and in his face. Uh, so we'll do that. And we're actually going to decrease the vibrance. Um, this is a cool effect for this kind of image. It really mutes the stronger tones. Um, and uh, we'll go ahead and decrease the saturation a little too. Um, just to further enhance that muting of strong tones. Uh, that looks kind of cool right there so you can kind of see what I'm what I'm going for here and since we did bring up the shadows so much uh, we don't have too much problem with noise but I'm gonna go ahead and add a little bit of noise reduction just 15 uh, it just took some of that away uh, noise reduction in Lightroom is very good uh, it's always good to add just a little bit if you used anything higher than like you know 500 600 ISO uh, normally I do some lens correction but uh, whatever lens Justin used uh, does not have any 
lens correction information, which is rare for Lightroom, but it happens. And uh, the next thing is we're going to use the spot removal tool, and we're going to use it in brush mode, which uh, we've got it set on heel, opacity 100, feather 0, and uh, I'm going to make the brush just a little bit bigger than we need it. And we're going to get rid of these tape, uh, these this tape on the wall, because it's a little distracting, and we're going to actually paint in our spot removal. You just click and hold, and you can paint in a custom spot removal path and this is one of the features in Lightroom 5 that was kind of a game changer it it really did um, remove the necessity for Photoshop for complicated spot removal um, there's still some things that you might need to use like contour and aware fill for especially if you're doing panoramic images and things like that but uh, If you don't have the money to buy Photoshop, uh, Lightroom will definitely get the job done in most cases. And if you still are using Lightroom 4, this feature right here is uh, worth the price of admission to uh, get an upgrade. And as you can see, it's doing a great job of getting rid of this tape here. I've got one last little bit here. We're going to take care of and uh, I think we're looking good on that front all right so we got rid of the distracting tape and uh, next thing I think I'm going to do is I'm going to add a radial filter uh, I like to use radial filters as custom vignettes I like using vignettes but sometimes I want them to be less noticeable and with the radial filter first of all you can put it exactly where you want so we can just isolate him uh, whereas regular vignette would just do the corners no matter where he was and uh, we're also going to uh, have the ability to have a very large feather and this makes the transition from outside the circle to inside the circle makes it very smooth and it's what gives you that ability to make your vignettes kind of invisible uh, you don't want people to say oh look he added a vignette and the other thing I think I'm gonna do is I want the background to be a little more blue uh, so I'm gonna lower the temperature of my radial filter area uh, just a bit and give it a real nice strong blue and uh, I'm going to also increase the feather amount just so the transition is that much less noticeable. And uh, I think that looks pretty cool. So you look at before, after. I think that's, that's uh, getting us a nice effect. And I think I do want to add a normal vignette just because we got this little bit down here and uh, kind of a bright spot up here. So I'm not against normal vignettes. I just think uh the radial filter is a great place to start and if you need more vignette uh these presets in the preset panel under lightroom effect presets you got a, a weak vignette and a strong vignette we'll just go with the weak one which is vignette one and uh so that just uh enhances our previous custom vignette that much more so we're going to zoom in on his face here and do a couple of things uh, first of all, I want to bring out his eye. I want to give him real steely blue eyes. And uh, for that, we're going to use the adjustment brush. And I'm actually going to use one of the presets it's called Iris Enhance, made specifically for eyes. And I think I want to zoom in uh, to 200% so I can get a little bit better of an adjustment. Um, make my brush just just about the size of his iris here I'm using a very big feather so the transition area will be less noticeable it won't look like you painted an adjustment now iris enhance gives you some exposure some clarity some saturation and I want to go a little higher with the exposure and then uh, I'm gonna lower my color temperature with blue eyes you go to towards the blue give them really striking blue eyes. If you have brown eyes, you would go to the right to give them amber eyes. 
uh, and if they had green eyes you would lower the tint towards the green and that just really makes the eyes pop and and in this case I think it gives it just that little added creepy touch all right so next thing I think we're gonna do is we're going to do some teeth whitening uh, not that I think he has bad dental hygiene or anything but uh, I just want to uh, bring them out a little more give them that real bright chomper look we actually have a preset called teeth whitening this is great for if you have uncles that smoke and they have yellow teeth you can go in and just paint their teeth and get them looking nice and white like they've been using crest white strips religiously and uh, in this case it's just gonna make his teeth pop and kind of look like maybe he's trying to bite us and I just uh, increased the exposure on his teeth just a little more than the teeth whitening preset so these presets are often great starts and then you can just fudge them a little more in different areas to uh, get the finished effect you're going for and I am going to zoom out a little bit now we can take a look the before and after of our eye and our teeth and I think you can see oh that's pretty nice maybe I went a little too far with the teeth sometimes that happens you have to back off on your adjustment so uh, yeah that looks good and the next thing we're going to do is uh, I want to bring out a little bit of detail in this side of his face and going back to the trusty adjustment brush once more we're gonna set it to the Dodge setting this probably isn't going to be enough brightening but uh, it'll be uh, a good start and I'm just gonna paint in the dark areas and try not to bleed over onto the wall and the highlights on his uh, face and we're gonna bring up the exposure quite a bit um, to looks like about there and just work the area so we get a nice smooth transition without getting too much on the wall there and now you no notice this introduced a whole butt ton of noise and that's okay I uh, planned for that I was prepared the adjustment brush has a great feature a noise slider which does selective noise reduction and we're just gonna bring that all the way to 100 normally that would cause something to be really blurry but since this is mired in shadow I really don't mind and I actually think it creates kind of a neat effect and so now let's look at the whole face before and after uh, we got the piercing blue eyes a little bit of detail on this side of his face made his chompers really stand out and uh, I think that's looking really nice um, so look at the before and now the after and uh, we did it all in Lightroom didn't even touch Photoshop I hope these techniques were helpful uh, and I hope you are able to use them somehow in your images and I hope you have a lovely night